This video is Chapter 22, Section 1, Animal Characteristics. Key Concept Animals are diverse but share common characteristics. We are animals. So are jellyfish, squid, cockroaches, tapeworms, sea stars, and the family dog. Animals live in nearly every environment on Earth from high in the atmosphere to the deepest sea trench. While they come in a huge variety of shapes and sizes, they all share a common ancestry and a set of common physical and genetic characteristics. First main idea. Animals are the most physically diverse kingdom of organisms. More than one million species of animals have been described so far, and scientists predict that tens of millions more have yet to be discovered. Animals are remarkably diverse in terms of being a group of organisms. They range in size from blue whales, which are twice the length of a school bus, to rotifers, smaller than the period at the end of a sentence. As is shown on the screen here, some look like soft tubes, and others have muscular bodies inside hard shells, or soft tissues over hard internal skeletons. Some animals have many specialized tissues and organs, and others have no distinct tissues at all. Animals are found nearly everywhere on Earth, including places where plants and fungi do not live. They are the dominant herbivores, predivores, detritivores in most ecosystems. Some walk, burrow, swim, fly, or slide along on mucus trails to search, uh, search for food. Others spend their whole adult lives fixed to a single spot, endlessly straining water to collect microscopic particles of food. Second main idea. All animals share a set of characteristics. Given the huge physical diversity among animals, what characteristics distinguish animals from other organisms? All animals share a set of derived characters, or heritable features, that set them apart from other eukaryotes. These characteristics suggest that all animals are the descendants of a single common ancestor. But animals must eat. Their cells lack the chloroplasts that let photosynthetic organisms make their own food. All animals are heterotrophs, meaning they eat other organisms to gain the nutrients they need to survive. Any organic compound an animal uses in cellular respiration has to come from an outside source. Single-celled protists also eat other organisms, but because even the simplest animal is built of many specialized cells, all animals can ingest and process larger food particles than a single cell can engulf. Animals are not the only eukaryotes that are both heterotrophic and multicellular. Fungi are also multicellular and use organisms for food. But cells of fungi do not have the same diversity of functions that animal cells have. Although animals and fungi share heterotrophic ancestors, it is likely that they evolve the trait of multicellularity independently. Unlike the cells of plants and fungi, animal cells lack rigid cell walls. Therefore, animals cannot rely on the rigidity of their cells for structural support. So what component carries out these functions in animals? Collagen, which is shown on the screen here, is a three-stranded protein that is unique to animals. Animal body parts that contain collagen include skin, bones, ligaments, fingernails, and hair. Individual collagen proteins combine with one another to form rope-like fibers that are both strong and flexible. These fibers form an extracellular network that many animal cells use for support. Unlike a cell wall, the collagen network does not glue cells in place, so it is possible for cells to move within the animal's body. Collagen also forms an integral part of the jointed skeleton that many animals use to move their entire bodies. 
Animals are the only multicellular organisms that do not alternate between free-living diploid and haploid stages. In all animal species, the individuals that reproduce are diploid, and they produce offspring that are also diploid. Some kinds of animals can reproduce both asexually and sexually. For example, a hydra can clone itself by budding. These species have male and female sex organs and also reproduce sexually. A few animals have become completely asexual. All whiptail lizards, for example, are females, and offspring are clones of the mother. But these animals evolved from sexual species, and their asexual habits are derived characters. Most animals that scientists have studied so far share a group of dream, uh, genes called homeotic genes. Homeotic genes are a class of genes that control early development. In animals, an important group of homeotic genes called Hox genes are defined by a sequence of 180 nucleotides called homeobox genes. Hox genes define the head-to-tail pattern of development in animal embryos. Homeotic genes create segments in a larva or embryo that develop into specific organs and tissues. The Hox genes within these segments determine the position of cell differentiation and development by switching certain genes on or off. A mutation in a homeotic gene can lead to the development of a body structure in the wrong position. For example, the effect of a mutation in the homeotic gene antennapidia determines whether an insect body segment will grow antenna or legs. As is shown on the screen here, a wild type fly, in a wild type fly, antenna develop normally. In a fly with a mutation in this gene, shown on the right, legs develop where the antenna should be, but the rest of the fly develops normally. The misplaced legs look normal in structure, but are not functional for the fly. Flies with homeotic mutations usually do not live very long. 